Blockade at the Ambassador Bridge. The protests continue tonight despite a judge's ruling the crowd must leave the area or be removed if necessary. This morning, police began pushing the crowd of protesters away from the bridge. Vehicles blocking the bridge were removed, but protesters continued to linger there, with more of them joining throughout the day. Within the hour, police confirm a 27-year-old man was arrested in connection to the demonstration. Priya Mann is in Windsor tonight, as police warn the protesters could face deep fines and also possible jail time. As the sun went down and the temperatures have plummeted, there are fewer demonstrators here now than just a few hours ago. I also want to draw your attention. This is where there was that lineup of police. Now it's been replaced with these concrete barriers as police are staying warm in buses. I don't want to see like none of the gas or bullets or like rubber bullets or none of that stuff. You know, I'd rather just keep it nice and peaceful. After the courts ruled against the Freedom Convoy, protesters know law enforcement has the full authority to remove them from blocking traffic at the Ambassador Bridge. I'm I'm asking her to film. I'm going to be in the center. Hopefully not hurt, but uh, we'll see what happens then. On Saturday night, with the numbers dwindling, they were keeping warm with fresh coffee and pastries. The mood is still optimistic. It's just the, the, the feeling of how the government is start to pushing people. If you don't stand your ground, they're going to take over more and more. And more. On Saturday morning, after six days of protesting, big rigs at the entrance of the Ambassador Bridge drove off. Protesters were then dismantling their makeshift accommodations. This is the backbone of Canada, right? This is the working class. Windsor's a working class city. Like, these are the guys and, and women that, you know, keep everything running and often are underappreciated. As police pushed protesters back and towed vehicles onto flatbeds, hundreds of others showed up to support the movement against vaccine mandates and COVID restrictions. Every day without truck traffic leads to hundreds of millions of dollars in losses. The clock is ticking on this illegal blockade. So I'm just hoping that we can eventually come to a resolution. Okay? I just hope, like, I don't, I'm just tired of giving up our freedoms. Okay? That's what I'm tired of. The protesters we've talked to say they are determined to stay here for as long as they can. We are about a mile away from the Ambassador Bridge as the battle to reopen enters a new day. In Windsor, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.